Welcome gonna, aboard the crazy train. Yes, we're going <laughs> to wait just a little bit more, get a little bit more people in here. We're going to start chatting right now. Engelteen is putting the URL in this. That's what I meant to say. Engelteen. <laughs> yes, today, today the entire broadcast is going to be trying to teach Frugal how to say Englenteen. Just for the record, yes. it's not just you. No. You watch any of my videos, I destroy all names. <laughs> well, it's something I can do, do that too. I I can, actually, I don't think a it. lot of made up word. Uh, it's so it's not like it, there's any precedent for it. Well, <laughs> it's just you know I sung this, I sung the song wrong for 25 years, and I said, "Hey, let's do that." Doom. I only make my it. living speaking, and yet what's up, Chevron? <laughs> Yeah, that's the thing, and yet you can't say no. You know, I did a, a movie podcast with some guy who kept saying it's Leo DiCaprio, and I'm like, oh <laughs> god, the things, the is, things is that this man does not it? know about movies. <laughs> yeah, it was horrible because it would be like that kind of all the time, and I, I said it's weird because he knew nothing about movies, but he wanted to do a movie uh, podcast. We actually ended up on the radio. Even <laughs> how did that happen? You know, because he was the the lead guy. And I was just the guy who knew everything about movies, so he it would be like, well, we're going in, and what do you think about this? And I would have to toss in some sort of uh, historical fact. That was weird. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm that, Frank that, Chevron is here. We always appreciate having you here. You you raised the bar. <laughs> yeah, I, Imagine I, I just, having uh, to pronounce a bunch of Japanese names <laughs> with um, no background at all and understand remus remus from thailand so i get that all the time yeah yeah well con con considering my wait yeah. your name is fun of porn what? yes your your name is fun o porn that's what you're telling me and don't <laughs> ever say that in america <laughs> yeah i've actually had that conversation before don't we're gonna find you an american name <laughs> I yeah. didn't see where you got that from. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And this, the, the family, because they are, uh, they, they love their sense of humor, gave me the nickname of Tang Mo. It's actually Tang Mo because T is kind of a D sound, but that means watermelon. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Fat guy. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Yeah. That's, that's the family I live in. All, All righty. Right. So, Shall we anyway. Get started? Yeah, might as well. I wanted to uh, to talk about a couple of things tonight, and of course, everybody chime in. But one of the things is I wanted to kind of put the final stamp, or at least my final stamp, on what happened with the Mark Wade thing. Because uh, when I was showed this thing, I wanted to know where this comes from. I do this with anything. If somebody shows like, oh, look what this guy tweeted. Well, I want to see the original posts. You know, I want um, the new before, that, before you get into that, just want to mention a uh, conservative nerd did a video said uh, Mark Wade's got titties, the musical. <laughs> Whom doesn't? <laughs> okay. I guess. Big, he, what's he, that got to say? Wade? So do I. Big fucking deal. Any guy over 200 pounds has some sort of boobage. <laughs> yep. Yep. Come on. I mean, you know, a, you're going to insult somebody. You got to make it a little more uh, specific than that dude's got boobs. I mean, come on. In the second movie, Spider-Man was beaten by a man with man boobs. <laughs> it happens. Doc Ock. I'm yep, sorry. It was Doc Boob. <laughs> you know, he, he looked awesome. On <laughs> Mark Wade needs to show his tits or get the fuck out. <laughs> you know what? Everybody's got the things that they love Oops. to do, but there you go. <laughs> All right. So, I guess if you got it flaunted, I, I don't know. Hey, you know, people love big boobs. I guess they don't care who they're on. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, I think so, some people might disagree with that, but yeah, okay. Yeah, Let's go with yeah I'm, I'm one of those people who would disagree with it. We but started anyway, high bar right off the bat. Yeah. We're, we're starting off. <laughs> this strong. is only going to go down from here. We've I, only I here. don't exactly, I don't know if he has a vagina. But I'm pretty sure he might want one. But then again, <laughs> don't we all? In some way, shape, or form. <laughs> all right. Get me on, get me on so <laughs> I, I know the okay, I've got a just a little uh just a little disclaimer. When I make my videos, I try very hard not to use salty language and to make it family friendly. 
However, we have found out that on the live casts, I tend to not care so much. Hmm. So <laughs> this this is the warning. This is the, the, the R-rated la uh, label at the beginning of the movie. Just to let you know if there's any children in the room, <laughs> that might not be a good idea. <laughs> I probably won't swear at all that's fine that is fine Please frugal probably state. won't swear so i will do all the swearing for him oh uh, okay probably happen i might Hola, gente. Como le va? Le va? ah okay so i decap fish no okay well if you're going to talk to me in a foreign language i will try my best to do in, to you too I, I am the only person in Florida that said, you know what, with all these Spanish people around, I need to learn an Asian language. <laughs> yeah, it just wasn't the smartest thing. The world is ending, so does it matter? <laughs> <laughs> Online interaction not rated by the ESRB. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way to do it, yep. Okay, so yeah, I wanted to, I wanted to talk about this because it's amazing how quickly this just accelerated so so we all know what mark wade said yeah like well if you see if you see diversity in comics and any of his friends get them you know <laughs> that's sick how him. i read it sick like, him my minions <laughs> and of course Funny, it made, it made me think about we get a big group like th thousands of people to all wear shirts that say i am diversity in comics and mm -hmm. go there <laughs> There you go. That's one. I am. Uh, what's his name? Richard Spencer. Isn't isn't he the? Uh, no, no, that's the killer in California, right? Hmm. Never mind. <laughs> okay, but uh, yeah, but we're right away. He sends that message in his comment section. Is like done. What's this guy look like? Of course, Tom Brevort. What's the plan, man? And it's like done. And these guys are just posseing up. Yeah. One, and, and then you'll get like a voice of reason. Uh, uh, somehow I see this getting out of hand. Um, one guy's like, I'll do it, but only if you bring me along, I want you know. and people are really saying that they're going to do things. And my question to him was, of course, what, and, and I said this in the video, what do you think people are going to do? I mean, people are willing to posit, how far are you willing to go for this? What if uh, what if violence happens? I even told Tom Brevort, uh, not only on Facebook, which he blocked me for, but on Twitter, you need to put a stop to it because he's bringing Marvel's name into it. Mm -hmm. And by Tom Brevort saying what he said or just retweeting, he is bringing Marvel Comics into it. But who scares me the most is Susan Auger. And why because is she dehumanizes this right away. These aren't keyboard warriors. Mayor's fan base has shown up in person to intimidate his victims. Both sides, meaning both sides of us, have a story to tell. Now, of course, right away, you got to think, if somebody is showing up and actually harassing you, that's a matter for the cops. Yeah, uh, absolutely. That's something like, oh, well, this community is getting out. No, go to the cops. You know, and it's a real shame, too, from a, in the past, he's had some really good books, though, as some mm -hmm. people have also commented, his last couple, probably years, in my opinion, have been real duds, real, you know, and that makes me sad. Yeah. Yeah. Especially he's with been him writing. Technically Captain. He's been writing uh, Kingdom Come, the, the coattails yeah. of Kingdom Come for a, quite a while now. Yeah. Susan Auger says, sitting and staring at women to make them uncomfortable isn't a crime. It's just a hobby of gross creeps. And there you got to wonder, why are they staring at you? I remember I went to a con, and I saw oh, Scott Snyder's over there in that group somewhere. And I, I was like, I was looking, going, okay, which one's Scott Snyder? I don't know. So, I mean, how are they staring? Because – it just, it, it might not be creepy. It might just be they're intimidated. Hmm. I, I think, I think they have yeah. some fear. I, I mean, and by the people who finally rose up and said enough of this crap comics, they don't like it. 
you know, they can't silence us anymore. And it's really getting to them. Yeah, I think that is because any kind of criticism now is seen as harassment. So somebody says, can you back up that with proof? And she says, yes, I don't have to. Because if you're a fan, then you're going to believe him no matter what proof I provide. Already know he's a misogynist, queer phobic creep, then you don't need receipts. And my thinking on this is, here's the thing. If I found out that diversity was actually harassing women, or if he was being a creep, if he was being uh, homophobic, if he, I would drop him like a freaking hot stone. I would Same. too. I wouldn't stand for that. I don't want anybody that's going out uh, deliberately attacking people for no reason whatsoever. But yeah. by but here's the thing: she provides a, uh, a, a a character of diversity, and everybody who follows him fits into that area. You know, if, if she thinks he's a sexist, homophobic, racist, blah, blah, whatever, and because we watch his videos or we say, "Wait a second, do you have proof?" everything he does hmm. and uh now it's and, been mentioned in the comments section that uh that mags he has been pretty brutal with mags yeah yeah that and, is, and i uh, agree I, yes but then he won i also now, say though that mags was pretty brutal in general too yeah. <laughs> you know well mags has and i will say this yeah, and here's here's something <laughs> on on other live streams and i've said this before uh they have gone fishing it seems like where they'll talk and then as soon as somebody says something they'll hey look i've got a video out of this yep yeah absolutely so we are not innocent on and i've said that before also you know we have we i've done it before hey look this milkshake crowd said this or but i've also done videos where i've shown respect because there was uh, one editor i forget her name but i say something and she really did engage in a debate. Of course, as she lost the debate, she ran, but it was still there. Yeah. And I you give know. massive respect for that. If anybody's going to sit there and, and say, you know what, L let's talk about this. L let's chat about that. I do. I give you massive respect just right at the start for even being willing to do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, here's one. Feminism has made women unable to understand other women. That is because i mean we have women in our group that are saying you're characterizing me stop that yeah you know they they want to have female characters not female caricatures right so you know it's, it does what? seem a little bit odd i think we're getting back into the same thing in game brigade that happened with the not my shield they're you know using shield they're acting as shields now and these people are saying you're not my shield some of these people are i've been getting a lot of that in my feed too and saying they don't represent me i'm not like this and when they say things like that they're getting it turned around and attacked right by the creators too that the, they're supposedly you know getting protected by it's yeah. ridiculous yeah oh and once uh once somebody said well if you had proof yada yada but you cannot control your, your fans so if somebody shows up and stares at you creepily it's not diversity's fault and it's definitely not mine it's not yours it says yeah. bullshit he manipulates them into action all of the time he's very good at passive aggressive suggestion too bad his writing skills don't translate i'm sorry but if you can't write then you can't passively aggressively suggest to anybody that they're going to follow you and it says how fun for him at least we we verified he's a creep this is verifying that she is off her freaking nut really is right this is this is the person i find to be the danger of the two um, i actually believe this i think mark wade was thumping his chest i don't think he was n n oh shit i felt lost the language i don't think he was innocent in it because he's trying to say oh no 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 i didn't say that i meant that hey doug how you doing well, I mean, think about it this way. The guy is a writer for a living. How can he turn around and say, oh, you didn't well, get that? I'm sorry. Well, if you're a writer, you should have known better. That's the thing. I think he really was like, oh, I'm a big man. I will protect the women who work in the comic books. Arr. And then people are like, yeah, yeah, I'm going to be there. I'll do that for you. Let's do it. And then he started realizing, oh, wait a second. <laughs> This could get ugly. So he put out this, well, all I wanted to do was talk. This got, I think, uh, I don't think he wanted to uh, be violent. I just wanted, I think he was doing a whole bit where he's like, 
well, I'm a man and I will take care of you, you know, that kind of thing. And it just got out of hand. Right. Yeah. I honestly, and, if uh, it came to it, he would, wouldn't have been violent. I, you know, oh, I, no, no, no. He, he's a big mouth and he's a loud mouth and he's admitted that. But I think when it came what down do to you actually guys, a person in front of his face, I don't think he's going to do anything about it. <laughs> no, no. What do you guys think we should do about the blacklist and the SJWs contacting bosses? Ooh. That, that's actually a, a tough question. I mean, uh, one, I don't have a boss, so. but two. Good luck firing me. You well, just got to say. I don't like it at all. <laughs> who the – I think it's ridiculous. If somebody contacts your boss and say they said this, I mean, you know, all you can really do is say, "Well, here's the proof." Boom! I've done it and say shit. Yeah, well, and that's, don't say say if, that. I mean, if, if they're if we're talking about potential bosses in my foreseeable future, because I am trying to get a new job, I'm not really too concerned because my brother shares similar sentiments to me. So, if he can work there, I I think I'm pretty safe. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, you know, in general, people have to have to be careful. Over 80% of employers are checking social media. So yeah. if you are using social media, you know, you have to be careful. I, I strongly suggest using a pen name and things of that nature. And then you have to be careful for these doxers. It's just wrong. Uh, you know, it's... Yeah. yeah it's I told crime. my daughters, never befriend anybody on, on any social media that you work with. Right. Mm -hmm. Just... It, it, Maybe when you leave it, but yeah, you just don't because it can go any direction. Oh, they they meant the artists and writers who are on our side. Well, and that too. Oh. I mean, they should be left alone. It's just wrong all around. This that yeah. whole thing is terrible. If somebody wants anonymity, they did it for a reason. You know, uh, yeah. leave it alone. To sit there and go through dirty channels to try to find out who they are. I mean, that's just yeah. petty at that point. But that's also been going on in entertainment forever and a day. If you are a conservative in Hollywood, you're not getting the work. Right. But yeah. I, I, I think that's this is one of the one deals. They, they challenged who they thought they could take out. They seen diversity in comics growing incredibly fast, and they saw that, wow, he represents a large – at least they feel that he represents a large amount of people that are not happy with them currently, and they felt if they could take the head off of that, that the rest would fall in place. Mm-hmm. That yeah, it, it's well. I think we're going to continue it, it, seeing that. We've seen it with Captain Cummings as well. Yeah. Well, so long as people yeah. continue to so, voice their concerns, it's not going to stop anytime soon. They could take down uh, a lot of the bigger channels, but even smaller channels will, or smaller followers will continue to do it, regardless of how many of us they try and take down a peg or two. Mm -hmm. Not to mention well, it's a crime. <laughs> So yeah, this I'm telling you the of the two of them, I'm more afraid of the Susan Auger. I think that yeah. she will. She, I think that she's doing the whole bit where you know the the they call you something so they can dehumanize. So anything that happens to you doesn't feel so bad. Sure, it's just it's just going on. I remember I said to uh, I said to Wade, I go to Comic Cons with my daughters, careful for them and myself because politically I disagree with Marvel writers and artists. And Mark Wade says, of course not. And you know full well that's not the case at all, except for we don't. Yeah. Uh, because it, do it doesn't matter just Mark Wade. He's calling for his people, you know, his fans to do something, and he can't control what they're going to do. But, you know, with that and said, there's a difference between Internet people and real people. I've seen people so mad and so mm -hmm. angry, and then when they actually meet, all of a sudden everything changes. You know, there's yeah. sort of a – a, an interesting difference psychologically there that people yeah. tend to be a little more rational when they're actually in front rather than behind a keyboard. Yeah. All Miss Auger, because she's so empathetic, says that, hey, hope none of your kids turn out to be assistant editors. If they do, then they're fair game for stalking sexual memes and threats as far as Richard's concerned. Sit with that thought. <laughs> there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry, but he, and here's the thing. Here's the thing. Now you know that I have been the in the case of uh, the, the going out and fishing is like, guys, you don't have to attack them. You don't, Susan Auger, Holy Toledo. Yeah, <laughs> all about. 
Well, I, you know, I shared you the links with just me today. I said nothing mean at all. I asked a simple question, and all of a sudden, it was open season on me. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. I I didn't get blocked yet. Oh, you haven't? Well, that's that's cool. Yeah. Except they're they're Twitter fans at me. (laughs) You know, the one thing I find a little bit interesting about the scenario that we're talking about, about, you know, people trying to sick their fans on other individuals, um... I think it was about, well, maybe about a year ago, but someone could potentially correct me, but there was a young female musician who was here on YouTube for several years, and she was shot by a crazed fan at a convention not that long ago. So this type of behavior is very intimidating. And as many yes, and just have stated record- and pointed out, that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to intimidate us. Just for the record, no one here is asking anyone to go shoot a fan, <laughs> go shoot no, somebody, or, or any no. act of violence whatsoever. Not even Ever. talk to somebody mean. Yeah. Ask questions. But, Get a discussion. Yeah, that was something we were talking about, and I think uh, there's a point to be made here: is that we should not actually go out and confront uh, the the uh, creators too much, the writers, the artists, definitely, you know. Um, Definitely don't get into word battles. It makes for a good video, and those videos will get you thousands of hits. You know, if you drama sells, <laughs> yeah, it does. But yeah, it depends on if you want to play a short game or a long game. Yeah, in my opinion, because if you, um, if you get blocked, then you lose the access to the people you're trying to reach. Yeah, right. Hey kids, it's England Team here, and I'd like to thank you very much for listening this long to us ramble on about man boobs, Mark Wade, and other things. Uh, also, don't forget to go on over to Night Wolf Plays and Captain Frugal and check their channels out because they're pretty awesome as well. Now, I'm going to be separating this what was five hour podcast into smaller, vi- more uh, appetizing videos and. Uh, So please keep an eye out for those. If you like videos like this, let me know in the comments below. Also, click like, share, subscribe if you haven't done that as well. And if you don't mind, head on over to Patreon or Vidme. Drop a dollar into the till to help us keep making videos like this. I'd like to thank you very much for taking the time out of your day to listen to the videos that uh, we create. It means a lot to me and Chef Jack. And thank you very much for watching. There we go.